Hey guys, what's up? It is Doug. Welcome to another edition of Spooky Villages. I have another Michaels exclusive today. I have the Garden of Eaton. Yes, I have this little shop of horrors themed garden shop here. Uh, before I get into the actual uh, you know, review and I talk about the building though, I did want to talk about uh, my Michaels buying experience this far. I know in reading some of the comments and some of the Facebook groups, some people are having problems with the 60% off AC more coupons when those are out. I have bought two buildings thus far as of the filming of this, um, the uh, Tilt and Hurl and of course the Garden of Eden here. And I've had no problems using the AC more 60% off. And uh, make sure you look at my guide. I'll put it down below, the uh, Michael's Buying Guide to Lemax Spooky Town. I have a video on that. It explains it. It's working fine for me in the AC more app. Whenever the 60% coupon is off, my Michael's has accepted it. So uh, anyways, I uh, just wanted to talk about that briefly. Let's talk about the Garden of Eaton. Guys, come on, how can you resist that? The Garden of Eaton. So this piece is heavily inspired by the, uh, you know, the musical Little Shop of Horrors. Audrey 2, uh, there's a bunch of them here. Of course, Audrey 2 is the uh, man-eating plant, carnivorous plant. And, uh, you know, who doesn't love this theme? I love this. This is such a bright building too. Look at those vibrant greens on it. Beautiful. Uh, you know, before talking about the actual building here, it's funny that, uh, again, in reading around online, there are two buildings everybody's buying this year, the Tilt and Hurl and this. It seems like those are the most popular buildings this year in a landslide. So many people are buying them uh, you know, at, at the same time or going right back to use the coupon because a lot of times you can only use a coupon once a day. But anyways, the Garden of Eden here. So yes, Little Shop of Horrors themed. Uh, I love how this piece looks though. Again, it has such a nice finish on it. Let's talk, I'll show you back here. And uh, as I'm talking about it here, I'll just show you what it looks like lit up because it doesn't have any animation on it but i guess we should talk about that here as you can see the lights do pulsate on this piece and if you look right here it has just an on off switch where you just click on off it doesn't have like a rotary or anything uh like some of the pieces do um, but yes so again pulsating lighting as you can see here looks very eerie there is no animation on the piece but because of the way the lighting is it sort of gives the appearance of it You've got the red light on the uh, plant here in the middle, you know, the mouth, which really accentuates that, you know, the bright red uh, mouth that it has. Again, the paint job looks great. And the green lights uh, that pulsate, uh, you know, the rest parts of it here. It looks great. And again, that vibrant color scheme with the lighting, it really works with the red and the green lighting. Now get up tight here, as you can see here, some of the details here are fantastic. You've got the wheelbarrow here that's filled with these plants. The poor gardener, he's wrapped up here in the vines. Looks like he wasn't expecting that. Even on the actual uh, piece here, you see the uh, flies fly in the mouth here. Um, it looks great. And of course, these flies must be massive because this is obviously uh, the plants, you know, coming out of the building. So those, those have to be big flies. Great paint job up here too, all these carnivorous plants. Uh, so what this piece brings to mind, of course, is the famous Hemlocks Nursery. You can see a picture of it here. That building has been one I have been trying to get for a long time now, and it is extremely tough to get. It's retired. It's sort of one of my unicorn pieces. You'll see it eventually. I really want, uh, you know, I, I wanted that piece for my pumpkin patch scene to have kind of the, uh, you know, like a nursery. I know one of the pumpkin patches I go to, of course they have the actual pumpkin patch and all the fun stuff there with like apple picking, but they do have a greenhouse and a lot of them actually have that. So one reason this piece is really popular, um, I'm sure it's not just because it looks great. It's because that, you know, a lot of longtime Spooky Town fans who have not been able to get a Hemlocks nursery, this is close enough, right? Uh, I think Hemlocks is a little bit cooler just because it's a bigger piece with the greenhouse, but this still looks great. Again, I love this. I love this theme and evidently everyone else does too because this is selling like crazy. So again, this and the pumpkin tilt and hurl guys, I would get these early if you plan to get them because um, they go quick. And I know that um, this building has appeal to people who don't even collect Spooky Town even. So uh, like my friend Brad who runs uh, the uh, channel Philly, Philly Candleman, he's a candle reviewer. He also does some of the Christmas mini villaging. Well, he finally is getting into Spooky Town now because of this piece here. He's a big gardener. So yeah, guys, that is the Garden of Eaton. And I didn't even talk about the name, right? Great pun. I love that. Um, and I, I guess I should say there's no real assembly here. The only thing is this, uh, the wind vane up here. You just put it in the top. That is it. No assembly on this piece. Again, back of it here. Um, and again, the lighting in it, there's no animation, but because of that lighting, it looks like it's lit up. It's just, um, it's a really cool piece. Love it. And the price is good on it too. 
I, I haven't said that, but um, it's pretty affordable, especially use a 60% off coupon. I think it was like $35 to me. That's a huge steal. Uh, really great Lemax Spooky Town piece. This is a good one. I think it's going to be popular for years to come as well. So, all right, guys. Hey, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week with another Lemax Michaels exclusive Spooky Town review.